Tampa Bay Bucks at the Carolina Panthers. Bucks favored by four and a half. Uh, the Bucks, you know, going into last week, if they had beaten the Saints, they would have won the NFC South. But they're in their playoff odds were extremely high, despite playing a tough game against the Saints because of this game, because the Bucks could still win this game. So win and they and they win the NFC South. If they lose though, and the Saints win, Saints get in as NFC South champions. Bucks favored by four and a half here at Carolina. Yeah, the Bucks essentially had two shots at a win in in, in game, and this is the second. Well of said. Them. Well said. Yeah. And it's against Carolina. Pretty um, concise. Now the only downside is Baker Mayfield is banged up. He's not practicing right now. I think the I think he'll play. He got hurt right at the end of the game yeah. against the Saints. And um, what is it exactly? His it shoulder, looked like his right? left shoulder, yeah. and it looked like the, the shoulder that he hurt uh-huh. a couple weeks ago, or right. a couple years ago. Um, this the the Bucks offense though. So they have been they've been cooking right. So but here's in before last week, they had a stretch of scoring 29 points against the Falcons, 34 against the Packers, 30 against the Jags. The last time they were held in check a little bit was against the Panthers. It was 21 to 18 in Tampa Bay, and um, the, the Panthers played them tough in Tampa. There was some rain, you know. There was a there was a rain interception from Baker. I think it slipped completely out of his hand, um, but it was 21 18 just in early December where the Panthers did hang tough, and it was right around the point I thought you know that you were expecting maybe the Panthers are going to turn things around a little bit, show some life from Bryce Young. They still haven't. Even though Bryce Young had back-to-back really good games, the whole offense regressed again last week against Jacksonville. So can Carolina make things interesting here in the NFC South and at least give Tampa Bay a game who had been trending awesome for a few weeks until they ran into the Saints that first three quarters last week? So it's officially a rib injury for Baker Mayfield. Um, either way, it's one that it's not going to keep him out of the game, I think, and it would probably need to for Carolina to have much of a shot in this game. Um, I mean, look, Carolina showed like one or – Two times this season, they've shown signs of life against anybody. Um, it, I don't see much of a reason why it would happen this week against Tampa Bay. The Bucks are a flawed team, but they've been pretty good on either side of the ball. I just don't. I, you know, Bryce Young is going to get overwhelmed again, and they're not going to get much going. The Bucks have been dealing with a lot of injuries on the defensive side of the ball. They should get Shaq Barrett back. It uh, looks like you know, they've been dealing with the revolving door cornerback I think they should be healthy with Carlton Davis and Jamel Dean out there um, so so Tampa may be getting healthy at the other spots besides Baker Mayfield they do have a better overall team the defense is solid um, I think it's going to be a challenge for for Tampa Bay moving the I mean for uh, for Carolina moving the ball on this one again 39 degrees with broken clouds here broken clouds huh? this week I'm, I'm trying to see if there's any rain games there's rumors of snow in the northeast we might get some snow games potentially. might get snow here supposed to be snow everywhere this weekend oh really yeah snow here huh uh-huh you okay with, oh, you don't have your car anyway so it's good yeah <laughs> not until later look sometimes your mechanic tries to kill you it happens um last uh, last thing here mike evans has been having just an outstanding season for the box and I, I think storyline for me this year was it was mike evans not a, like an okay performance from chris godwin but it was you know the third fourth and fifth options for tampa in the past game had been non-existent but now Mike Evans is still awesome, and they're spreading the ball around. God you don't uh, you don't watch the shows that you don't appear on because um, you know you don't support your own podcast. But I'm usually in meetings, and whatever. Like yesterday, I had to miss the show because I was in a very whatever. intense meeting. Anyway, yesterday we had a conversation with Trev, a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan. Um, had questions that come in either end of the spectrum, so you have to choose. You who is so keen on the fence cannot straddle the fence on this one. Is Mike Evans either? A Hall of Famer or wide receiver Frank Gore? Hall of Famer. Ooh. I, I said, what if, Frank, what if uh, Mike Evans is, in fact, wide receiver Curtis Martin? Yeah, that's a better one, I mm. think. Because, yeah, because Gore had a whole bunch of average seasons at the end. I think Mike Evans has always been an above average, very good receiver. But I think, you know, what, what would be like the highest yearly <laughs> ranking you would put Mike Evans well, in? Well, this is the thing. So the highest yearly ranking is probably seventh or eighth, you this would say? Year, this year is probably, and not for sure, going to be the first season in which he leads the NFL in any statistical category. He has 13 touchdowns right now, which is he didn't one have, more. He didn't win in, in touchdowns two years ago? Nope. In 21? Never. Never done it. Never done it in touchdowns, catches, or yards. He's got 13 touchdown catches, number one. Which ironically is less than he's had in previous years, but this year is leading the league. 
What did he have in 21 for passes? Oh, it was a Cooper Cup that year. 2021 touchdown passes. Yeah, Cup had 16. Evans had 14. Yeah. Never let, never led the league. Yeah. Anyways, Evans is, so there you go. Hall of Famer. Yeah, Hall of Fame. Two people. Good answer. He's been very, very good. Very good. Very consistent. That's been his thing. Over 15 yards per catch in his career, too. Yeah. It's impressive. Anyway, let's make some picks. Tampa Bay. Bucks by four and a half. Yeah, I'll also take the Bucks. Going to the playoffs and um, perhaps playing. Playoff I mean, Baker. Again. Next week, which I might have to miss the preview show, but next week we'll be talking about the Bucks maybe taking on the Eagles and how the Eagles defense has been a train wreck right now and Tampa Bay can pull that upset at home as NFC South champions. 